Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyS2Root.com and uh, today we're going to show you how to root your uh, Galaxy S2 T-Mobile SGHT989 um, on ICFs. And this should work on any T989 series if you have like one of the Canadian ones. Um, so I got 4.3.3, it doesn't matter what version you have. Um, it'll actually work on Gingerbread 2. Um, anyway, to do this you'll need to connect a micro USB cable to your computer um, sorry right now it's only for Windows if you don't have Windows install a VM um, virtual machine for your Mac or Linux and I think that's the best way because Heimdall is not compatible with T-Mobile Galaxy S2 so connect a micro USB cable there and we're going to put it into download mode hold down volume up volume down and the power button and that cable should be connected to your computer otherwise you will not enter download mode and you'll go into uh, the stock recovery instead all right. When you feel the vibration, let go of the power button and keep holding down volume up and volume down. And then when you see the screen, hit volume up. And uh, once you get into this screen, um, you're all good to go. And let's go to our computer. Next, go ahead and download uh, T-Mobile Galaxy S2 root ICS um, and then run Odin 3 v 1.85 and say yes. And uh, when you see this screen, um, you're going to use the PDA button and find the recovery CMW Hercules .par, which is the clockwork mod recovery for your phone. Um, hit PDA. And let's go find uh, the mobile Galaxy S2 root ICS folder where it unzipped everything. And choose recovery CMW Hercules .par. Hit start, and this will flash the recovery to the recovery per partition on your phone. Alright, and uh, we're almost done. And uh, basically, we're gonna let your phone reboot, um, and we're gonna copy this file over CWM. That's that's actually the super user um, files. And also, you can copy it before you begin the process. Then you can actually reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery right away. Um, but we can do this. I'm gonna let it reboot. I'll be back when my phone reboots. And by the way, this is a complete safe method. Um, it only installs recovery. It doesn't touch anything, so you'll not lose apps or anything like that. Uh, make sure you connect it as a uh, disk drive. Turn on USB storage. All right. Oops. And you'll right-click on the CWM blah blah dot zip copy. And uh, when your phone comes up, put it in any folder. I like to put it in my download folder. I'm just going to put a paste here. So I have that in there. And let's switch the camera angle real quick. Alright, next you don't need the USB cable anymore and also it'll interfere when we get into the um, mm -hmm. to the new recovery. Um, so let's get into Clockwork My Recovery. Hold down volume up, volume down, and the power button together. Three buttons together until your phone resets. And then let go of the power button but keep holding down the volume up and volume down button. There you go. Your phone reset it. Keep holding down volume up and volume down. And uh, you should see Clockwork Mod Recovery any second after after this point. So there you go. You're in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, very easy to navigate. Go to Install Zip From SD Card. Hit the Power button. Uh, choose Zip From SD Card or Internal SD Card, depending on where you copy those files over. I think I put it in my SD Card. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? It says I can't mount. I actually don't have an SD card inserted, so it's got to be internal SD card. Hit the power button. I put it in my download folder down here. Hit the power button and uh, the CWM, the the top one, super SU blah blah dot zip, and say yes, and this will give you a root. And you should get uh, that message there. And go back. Reboot system now, and you should be all rooted and all good to go on ICS. Um, and that's it, I guess. And this will work on Gingerbread or ICS uh, with the new Super S you have included in there. It's compatible across everything. Um, even if ICS gets upgraded to the next version, it should work. And uh, we're done. Android is upgrading. Um, and uh, we should be all done. That was quick, right? Took us, what, five minutes, three minutes? I don't know. But this is the easiest way to root. 
It works on Galaxy S3. Um, so I've got Super SU there. Um, update binary if you want to. You don't have to. And that's uh, success. And you can go ahead and download um, rooted app and uh, try it out if you want. I know a lot of you asking me uh, after you root it. Am I rooted or not? Um, I get those questions. And uh, here I'll show you how to do it. Just go download Titanium Backup, the free version here. Install it, accept and download, and open it. And when you open rooted apps, make sure you open it right away because sometimes they'll ask for super user permissions in the background. And if you don't allow it, then uh, you know when you open it, it, it's like you didn't root. There you go. If you get that, that means you're rooted. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching my video. Um, if you want, if you like my video, um, please do subscribe to my email list at galaxyS2root.com. We update you once or twice a week uh, with stuff like this, ROM of the week, and uh, a lot of stuff. Um, and also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me. And I gotta go to lunch, but um, please hit that like button for me here. Um, share, uh, no, what is that? Subscribe button up there, and share button down here to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And uh, yeah, I, I probably have uh, my lunch um, every Tuesday. I think I go out for lunch. Um, I'm gonna get some Vietnamese sandwiches, so I'll have that up on my Google Plus. You can check it out. My sandwich. Um, and uh, thanks you guys, and stay high on Android, and eat right.